In December of 218 BC, the Battle of the Trebia occurred. Hannibal Barca faced off against Consul Tiberius Sempronius Longus, who returned from Sicily to confront him. How would he fare against Hannibal? What were the tactics and numbers of both armies and commanders? Find out today on Roman History. Hannibal's army won the Battle of Ticinus against Consul Publius Cornelius Scipio, who was wounded. As a result, he gained Gallic allies as revenge against Rome for pushing them out of their lands. Also, he needed to be ready against a new Roman army that would go after him. In addition, winter was coming, so provisions were paramount to survive at least until the spring. The Gauls provided supplies and soldiers to serve Hannibal. Soon, they would face Consul Tiberius Sempronius Longus. Initially, Longus easily captured Malta and was in Sicily to prepare an invasion of North Africa against Carthage with his two legions. When he heard about Hannibal's victory at Ticinus, he hurried to meet with Consul Publius by sea and land. When he arrived in Placentia, he met with Scipio to assess the situation. Scipio advised caution. However, Longus wanted to get a quick, decisive victory against Hannibal. He sent out Validas and cavalry to scout and fight against Hannibal's Numidian cavalry and won skirmishes, which raised Longus' confidence. However, Hannibal did not want to engage in a decisive battle until he was well supplied and well prepared against a larger Roman army. At best, these skirmishes were to harass and delay. On the other hand, Hannibal knew he could stand a chance because the Romans had many inexperienced troops, and his superior generalship because he knew what his opponent was trying to do. Instead, Hannibal would make the Romans fight on his choice of battle, which would be on the flat plain and with potential spots for ambushes and cavalry maneuvers. Polybius stated there were 36,000 infantry, 16,000 Romans and 20,000 allied infantry with the Saranami Gauls, their last Gallic ally. Also, the Romans had 8,000 cavalry. The Carthaginians had 20,000 Libyan, Gallic, and Iberian infantry. Also, they had 10,000 cavalry and 37 war elephants. In addition, Hannibal's brother Mago commanded 2,000 infantry and cavalry in parody hiding in the woods for an ambush. According to the Roman historian Livy, he wrote the Roman army had 38,000 infantry. 18,000 Romans with 6,000 Validas and 20,000 Allied infantry, which included Saranami Gauls. Also, they had 4,000 cavalry, for the Carthaginians, it was the same as the Greek historian Polybius, both accounts have similar numbers, except for Roman infantry and cavalry. It seemed that 4,000 Roman cavalry would make more sense due to not having as much cavalry in the Roman army as the Carthaginians, which modern historians also agreed with. The battle began with Hannibal's men being well prepared, well fed, and well rested to beat the Romans. Second, he used Numidian cavalry to taunt the Romans as a means of psychological warfare. As a result, Sempronius launched his Velites and cavalry to harass the Numidians. Meanwhile, Hannibal used the time for his army to ready themselves in battle positions. Third, while the Numidians harassed, the Romans were eager but hungry and cold from not finishing breakfast and crossing the Trebia River. Eventually, the Velitas used many javelins. As a result, they could be less effective against their counterparts, Balearic slingers. Fourth, the skirmishers fought, and Hannibal's slingers came out on top. Fifth, the infantry and cavalry fought against their respective battle pieces, and Hannibal used his war elephants to intimidate and kill them. Sixth, the Numidians routed the Roman cavalry and outflanked the Roman rear. Seventh, Mago and his two thousand troops ambushed the Romans, which surprised them despite knowing about the forests as an ambush site from Gauls. However, they could not foresee the usage on the open plains. In the end, all but 10,000 Romans, including Longus escaped. The only advantages were that they broke the Carthaginian center, and the Velites killed most of the elephants, Tiberius Sempronius Longus wanted to use his superior numbers of infantry to overwhelm the Carthaginian center, infantry, of mainly Iberians and Gauls. 
Hannibal wanted to use his superior cavalry to disperse the less numerical Roman cavalry, outflank the infantry, and finish off with the 2,000 infantry and cavalry hiding in the woods as an ambush. Hannibal won using tactical superiority, better conditions, bad weather, and psychological warfare. The army retreated to Cremona. Initially, Longus tried to downplay the loss, but having 10,000 Romans escape was a bad sign. The Senate did not end Longus but elected two new consuls at the beginning of 217 BC. Finally, Hannibal's army rested for the winter, the Battle of the Trebia demonstrated Hannibal's use of hunger, outflanking from concealed places, using geography to one's advantage, psychological warfare, and weather conditions. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications to see more of my videos.